It's really important, isn't it, as you look, you've looked back on your life recently and, and sort of realised that you're in a position now that perhaps 30 years ago you never thought you'd reach. Definitely. This September, it'll be 30 years ago that I left my mainstream school and went to my special needs school. And my life for the past 30 years has really changed. So now I'm married I live in my own home. I've worked for the Learning Disability Charity Menkat for 21 years and I'm so proud of my career there. And I do everything in my power to make sure people with a learning disability like me are heard and seen. And that's something that I'm very passionate about. Actually, what is your job? What do you do with them? So I am engagement lead at Mencap. So I am helping on the engagement side of our amazing five year big plan. And the aim of the big plan is that we want the UK to be the best place in the world for people with a learning disability to live happy and healthy lives. So we want to make sure that people with a learning disability get good health care, they get good transport, they get good education, they get good support, they get the right support from day one of their lives right through their lives um, so that they can achieve all the things that everybody else does. I mean, that's the important thing, isn't it? It's, there's been a point in time, hasn't there, when people thought if you had a learning disability then you weren't able to achieve what other people can. And that's just not true, is it? That's not true. Many years ago, people like me were put in institutions in long-stay hospitals and they were locked away. We are now in the world. We are in the community. We are in the world. We have a voice. We want to be heard. But unfortunately, society still labels us as second class. They label us as stupid. They label us, uh, label us like we can't do anything. And that's not true. And I'm a really living proof that actually we can. I have a job. I'm married. I live in my own home. I have a lovely family. I do everything now that everybody else does. And that's just because I've had the right support to speak up, to have my voice. Whereas years ago, I didn't have a voice. People spoke up for me. They made decisions for me. Now I make my own decisions. I make my own career choices. I make my own rights. And now I have a platform which I use on my podcast on Spotify called Kira's Pink Sparkle Pod. And I get celebrities. <laughs> Sorry, called what? Kira's Pink Sparkle Pod. <laughs> Lovely. My favourite colour is pink. I can see that. <laughs> um, so the aim of my podcast is to get journalists, celebrities, VIPs, campaigners, and I interview them and I get them to promote their career, but also I tell them what it's like to have a learning disability and educate them. That's the message on my podcast. So I am really passionate about making sure people know what a learning disability is, what a learning disability isn't. So learning... Well, that's interesting. What, yeah. what isn't it? Learning disability isn't dyslexia. It isn't a mental health illness. A learning disability is a condition that starts just before birth, during birth and after birth. It's lifelong, there's no cure, and it's just about the way you learn new things and you might need support to learn those new things. But once you have that support, you can achieve anything. And that's what's brilliant about the work in Mencap. They take you, they shape you, they give you a voice, they give you that support. And I'm just so proud to be able to say that I'm a person with a learning disability and that I'm living my life with the right support. Mm. You, you mentioned earlier that when you came out of your special needs school, and I can imagine that must for families and for the person, in, the individual involved with learning disabilities, that must be one of the most frightening times of all, because that's sort of like, oh my goodness, there's the big wide world. What, am I, what part am I going to be able to play in it? Was it very frightening for you? Yes, it was. When I left my special needs school, I slipped through the net. So all the support I had was taken away. So my family literally were my support from the age of 16 onwards. So my mum and dad had to take me to the local job centre. They had to help me get benefits. 
They helped me to make sure I could get a home on my own. They've helped me find jobs. They've helped me in everything. Um, and sadly, because I have a mild learning disability and there's different levels of learning disability, but I'm on the mild end, I've had to have support from my family because the local authority deem me too mild for yeah. any support. Yeah. So it's always thrown back to my family for them to yeah. support me. So not only is my mum my mum, and not only is my dad my dad, they are also my support workers, my coaches, my parents, my supporters. And now, because I'm married, more of that now falls down to my husband, Mark. Um, he's watching at home. Um, and he's now able to support me a bit more now, whereas instead of my mum and dad. So that, 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 well, it's, it's no, fascinating. No, no, no. We could talk to you. And I know you've already had Stephen Dixon on your Spotify uh, mm -hmm. podcast. What's it called again? Here is Pink Sparkle. Right, yeah, oh, call out for it again. But I, I just I wonder, if did you ever sit down with your mum, or maybe it just happened throughout your life, your mum and dad and say, look, I want this. I want to be independent. I want my own house. I want my own life. You know, help me make it happen. But I don't want to be dependent. I want to be me. Yes, I remember in being in tears years ago, just saying to my mum, I'm sick of being labelled. I'm sick of people telling me I'm stupid. I'm not. I just need some support and then I can do things. But it's against society that label us. So actually, if society met us, if people in the public met us and heard us and saw us, the world would change. That's why it's important, isn't it, to get you on here and to get people with learning disabilities on yes. you know in dramas and all that so mm. there is a wider understanding definitely and a really good example of that is tommy jessup on line of duty that was amazing that really started the conversation of let's see more people with a learning disability on tv um you know sarah gordy she's an amazing actress who has down syndrome and again I think the media industry are starting to change, but there are still labels out there. And I really want to see more TV shows, including people like me, because it helps to change stigma. It helps to break down attitudes. So please, please, please include more people with a learning disability yeah. on TV, because then we can show you what it's really like to have a learning disability. Do you know what? Oh. You are just wonderful, yeah. and it's you know you know how pleased I am that that you're my friend, and yeah. and we've been in touch for yes. quite a number of years now, because you're just such the you're the perfect advocate for Mencam mm. and for the work that you do.